Hey, welcome back. If you haven't been here before, thanks for stopping in and checking it out. Today's a pretty exciting day. I got all my stuff together finally to build my all grain brewing kit. So instead of me going out and buying a kit that costs for six or seven hundred dollars, I opted to buy all the parts and put it together myself, which saved me quite a bit of money. So altogether, these pots cost about a hundred dollars a piece. It was ninety-eight dollars, um, and that was free shipping. I got this cooler down here for thirty dollars. Yeah, thirty bucks, and that's a. Uh, 55 quart. These are both, I believe, 72s, like 11 or 12. I don't remember the math, but they're big enough to do 10 gallon batches, and that's what I'm aiming for. So that should be good to go. Um, next, after I get done putting this, the the pots and everything together, I'm going to build a stand, a three tier stand to put it on, and uh, start brewing some beer. I got four all grain kits ready to go, and I have nothing to brew it with. So I need to get this stuff started so we can start drinking some of this brew. Okay, so with each one of those marked here and here, we will drill it out using this step bit on this, on this drill like that. Uh, that way you get nice even holes without very many burrs. Um, but drilling stainless steel is pretty tough, so uh, once I get through, I'll start a pilot hole with another drill, another drill bit, and then I'll use the step bit to open it up. And I'll do the same thing for the thermometer. Got a little three-in-one oil here to not so it doesn't heat up the um, the metal too much once I start running that step bit through it because it'll get really hot because this is stainless steel. All right, so I got this blocked up right here, give me a little working space on these pallets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-punch a guide hole. That way, when I put the drill bit, it doesn't start sliding around everywhere. It'll fall right into this little divot that I'm about to make, and then we don't have to worry about that issue. Do another one right here. All right, so I got a guide hole started on this one, and I'll use this uh, other marker that we made over here to make another one. The holes are now through enough that this step bit's not going to get stuck. So I'm going to just put a little oil on here, so just to keep it from getting super hot. And here, a little here. And we're going to go all the way to the end of this bit. I know it's not open enough yet, I just want to double check. I need to go like two more steps, I think. Man, I tell you what, I hate living near a busy street, man. That's, that noise is so annoying. All right. Go just a little, one more step. That's where I want it, right there. It's tight enough that it'll uh, screw in. That way it'll help give it a better seal. So that one's done. Now I gotta do the other one for the thermometer. All right, and this one's gonna sit in here. It's gonna screw in almost the same way. So I'm gonna get this, uh, I'm gonna get this one punched through and uh, that way we can put the therm thermometer and the other piece in. goes again. I think it's the same dude just driving up and down the street with his motorcycle as loud as he can get it. And that's it. Perfect fit. Cool. Alright, so there's two holes in this one. Um, I'm going to get the burrs all cleaned off of it with a small file and then uh, get these both locked in there and get the metal shavings cleaned out of the inside of it. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing to the next one and then uh, I'll show you putting the fittings on. I'll give it a final tight down when I get the, the right uh, wrench for it. All right. So this piece here is going to go through this way. Okay. 
So there's my first one all put together. The valve is uh, openable and closable. And uh, I'm going to show you the inside real fast. So on the inside, they stick through like, you know, you can see them coming through. But there's the thermometer on the top and then the valve on the bottom. Boom, done. All right, so I put both of these together and they look awesome. Man, this is so cool. I'm so excited about this. Got the inside all brewed up. So this is just gonna be for a hot liquor tank. This will be so you can just heat up the water and uh, get everything ready for the mash. This one will be my boil kettle. That's why I got that screen down at the bottom. Because I don't like putting the hops in any kind of bag or anything. I just throw it straight in the boil with all of the wort. So I put that screen in the bottom so I don't have all that stuff floating around in my fermenter. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this cooler into a mash tun. So it's really easy to take apart the drain tube for this cooler. So I was able to stick the other one through. It's the same exact size. So it comes through in there and I'll tighten that nut down and then I will have a pretty decent uh, drain pipe for this cooler. I think that's where I want it. Um, so I'll put the holes along the edge on the inside so they kind of squirt towards the middle. Now let's see how it goes. For this next one, I want to stop a little bit short of the other side here. Uh, kind of give it the same amount of space, which is about, it's about two inches. So I'll measure that up and then uh, I'll do the same thing on this side, but with the long pipes that go across the back here. All right, so on this fitting on the end here, instead of uh, soldering it in through the entire um, piece up to the fitting, I'm gonna use a little bit of silicone. So if I ever need to take it apart, I can just pull that right off and just re-silicone it up. It's pretty hard to get it out of there once you put solder on it. So um, there's a hole in here where I drilled through. If you can see down in there, I'm gonna fill that with uh, silicone right now. And that way it'll hold it real tight. And that way I can pull a, um, you know, the hose in and out of that uh, barb fitting right there. And that'll go to the hot liquor tank and it will spread hot water over top the grain bed. So there you have it, I finished the build. Um, pretty satisfied with how it came out, to be honest with you. Um, both fittings work pretty good. The thermometers are both reading the same temperature of whatever the ambient temperature is outside right now. And then the, the cooler is still uh, on its dry cycle right now so I can get that mash tun built up. So. Um, appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you get a chance, go ahead and rate, comment, subscribe. Um, next video I'm going to do will be uh, filling it up with water, running a couple cycles through, um, getting the boilers fired up, and then uh, after this I'm going to build a uh, three-tier stand to put it all together on. And uh, whoa, that's not cool. There we go. I'm going to build a three-tier stand to put it all together um, to have something to uh, mount it to. So. There you have it. A lot cheaper to build it yourself than it is to go ahead and buy one of those from the from the homebrew supply stores or even on Amazon, whatever you whatever you decide to choose. This has cost me like a third, maybe even a, a quarter of what it would cost to buy one of these uh, same size kits, brand new, uh, already put together. So, um, as you can see, it's not too hard. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.